let me talk about a very specific mouse research study that will just Pull sort of mice explain. Again. Yeah. Yeah. So there was a, a researcher, Luis McCullough, at, at University of Houston, and they were doing stroke research. They were looking at if you induce a specific stroke, you know, by very scientifically, right? This isn't like, oh, the mouse had a stroke. It's like we occluded the artery for 30 seconds exactly, right? And it produces a very reliable area of damage in the brain because the oxygen and glucose aren't flowing, the cells die. Here's this part of the brain that is now dead because there was no blood. They noticed that some of the mice were experiencing much larger areas of damage. For some reason, they had more dead cells. Couldn't find an explanation. Turns out the mice that were having worse strokes were living alone. They were singly housed mice. Even though they were experiencing the exact same like loss of blood flow, they had worse damage in the brain. How can that be? Well, it's true what I mentioned, that chronic isolation drives up inflammation. Well, maybe this inflammation is sort of making the neurons less healthy and resilient to this sort of insult. And so what they did is they blocked these inflammatory markers in the isolated mice and found that that reversed the problem. So when they turned down the inflammation that isolation was inducing, then the mice had the same size stroke that they would be expected to have.